Hey guys, in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to use Font Awesome in Figma. Uh, and what I mean by Font Awesome is when you go, let's say, to any file and you type home, as you can see, currently it's home, uh, just a text written, but if I choose my Font Awesomes, um, as you can see that it's now being converted into an icon. So how do you go about and use that? Well, it's really simple. First of all, you have to open, well, if you haven't downloaded Font Awesome already, you just basically have to download them. Um, I currently have all of these font awesome. I'm gonna just go ahead and remove them so I can show them or show you how to do that uh, From scratch, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of these if I remove them and then let's say if I close the file and come back I Should not be able to use font awesome the way that I previously used to so now I'm gonna go ahead to my This file I'm gonna go ahead here, and I'm gonna start search for font awesome and I still have some free font awesomes, but as you can see, they still don't work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open a new window and I'm going to search for font awesome. Now that I've searched for font awesome, I can search for, instead I can search for font awesome download. <clears throat> I'm going to search for font awesome download. Here I have the fonts. I can just go ahead and download the free version or the pro version. Um, since I have a subscription of Font Awesome, I'm going to say I'm going to download the Pro for web. Sorry, not Pro for web. I'm going to download Pro for desktop. The web is obviously once you actually have it live on a website, so on and so forth, so you don't want to download that. You need to download the Pro for desktop. Once that download is done, you basically just go ahead and open it. And you just have to install the font, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to extract this file, I'm going to go ahead and install the fonts that come within it. Uh, here I have the fonts and I'm going to go to all the OTFs and I'm just going to start installing all of them. So install font and then install font and install font. So I have all of these three fonts now. If I go and search here, so as you can see I have the brands, I have the Duotone and I have the Pro. One thing I'd just like to mention is that the Duotone doesn't really work here. So, but now some of the other ones work. Obviously, I have to close the file and open it again in order to see the fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now if I go to my home, I can just search for font awesome. And as you can see, if I go to the pro font awesome font, as you can see here, I can start using it. I can start using the weights. I can use a thin, bold, so on and so forth. Uh, I can similarly use the brands if I want I can say Google and as you can see this is the Google one Facebook and Twitter so all of these icons are now available one thing I would just like to say is the duotone doesn't really work so if I search for home as you can see this is still a solid it works it just displays a solid icon it does not display the opacities duotones I can use icons usually have an opacity but this just does not work because it's a single uh, glyph and it's a typeface and typefaces don't i think at the very least in font awesome allow something like that one important thing however that i would like to highlight is sometimes font get fonts get into a weird state as you can see this is let me just change this to font awesome pro so this is font awesome pro it has a font size of 64 and then everything is auto and the default i can change this to 64 auto and then zero and then this can also be auto um, this actually is zero here, so I'm just going to change this to zero as well. And now you can see this and this font basically have everything identical. Even these type properties are identical on these both. But this one on the left is actually not generating uh, the icon, whereas the one on the right is generating the icon. And the reason for that is sometimes Figma actually creates issues with fonts, and it's not about related to the properties. Uh, it's not related to anything else it's just like a weird figma bug that happens so if i actually go ahead and select this font this text and then i type home as you can see this works but if i select this uh, text and then type home this doesn't work so in order to fix that what you basically have to do is you need to go ahead and you just need to either uh, create a new file if you basically just create a new file you're going to get the basic default font settings or if you already have some styles defined, for example, I have some styles defined in my library uh, that's coming from uh, a library that I'm using, I can just go ahead and do that and then I can detach it and then I can start using the fonts. 
So it doesn't matter what these properties are, you just have to reset the styles by choosing any of the previous styles that are defined or obviously uh, just reverting all of the styles that you had by creating a new file. And once you do that, it should start working. So again, those are the things that I would like to point out for now. This bug is really weird, but that's one way you can solve this or two or three ways in which you can solve this. But that's going to be pretty much it. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.